Hi there. Welcome or welcome back to this message series entitled Jesus Says. Pastor Rob and I hope that this is an interesting and helpful series on some important topics in our lives like what Jesus says about our identity in the Beatitudes or about handling anger. Today we're going to discuss what Jesus says about sexual sin. Shouldn't take long, huh? Before we get to that, I have a question for you. How's your fast going? And also, how is your feast going? You realize that we're almost two-thirds, or maybe even more than that, through the fast. So how do we end the fast well? How do we land the plane without crashing? And most importantly, how do we keep what we've gained and build on what we've learned? Foundation Church is going to help you with that transition. Be watching foundationchurch.com forward slash fasting for ideas and encouragement. Stop here and discuss how the fast, feast, is going with each other. Here are a couple of questions to consider. What do you like about the fast? What do you not like about the fast? Well, welcome back. I hope you guys are seeing some breakthroughs and having some positive momentum in your faith development. There's more to come, so stay tuned. Today, let's briefly discuss what Jesus says about sexual sin. Take a moment and read Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 through 30, out loud together in your group. Well, what did Jesus say? He gets to the point, doesn't he? We could discuss this issue from many different angles, but let's look at the heart of the issue. Here are a few questions to discuss in your group. Number one, where does Jesus say that the temptation for sexual sin actually begins? Number two, what is the distinction between looking, admiring, being attracted to, and lusting? Number three, when does temptation to sin actually become sin? Is Jesus current or what? Well, of course he is. Jesus is God. And what does Jesus know? Everything, right? Finally, today, consider this question and discuss this in your group. How would you become a person who lives according to God's intended design for sex? See you next week. Pastor Rob and I and the great staff of Foundation Church are praying for you and we're pulling for you. See you next time.